On December 6, 2019, famous YouTube actor and all-around beefcake Noah Simonji went missing. He was last seen on the now-famous game show The Simonji Scuffle. He played on a team with his girlfriend and suspect number one, Courtney. Courtney! Rumor has it that these two have been dating for quite a while, but due to recent revelations, it's possible to think that Courtney wants to secretly get rid of Noah. Proof of this is footage from the last Simonji podcast where Courtney tried and failed to assassinate Noah live on the podcast by smothering him not once, but twice. Thankfully, she missed both times. Since then, Courtney has been quiet and to herself, trying to figure out when is the right time to strike. And it looks like she has hatched the plan. We believe that Courtney kidnapped Noah and took him somewhere to finally put this young boy into the ground. But not if we can stop her. Myself and Adam found Noah's location with something called Find My Friends, and we intend to find Noah and rescue him before he becomes a ghost in the wind. Adam and I set out to find Noah on December 7th, 2019, and found his location in an unusual place, Las Vegas. Both Adam and I have never been to Las Vegas, and with a sea of people all around us, it was very challenging to look for him. We all had to be cautious not to be spotted by Courtney, so Adam and I gave ourselves disguises before heading out. Alright, so I'm in disguise, ready to go, kind of. I'm wearing a super sweet bathrobe. It reminds me of like a rich and famous guy, like, you know, like Bill Cosby or Jeffrey Epstein. Are you filming a porno? No, no this is... there's boxers underneath, because I don't know who else wore this last, so. Hey! <laughs> Alright, where does your bathroom for me? I don't want one too. No, you could use this one though. I don't have nothing. What's your costume? I have a beard. Okay. I got some glasses. Okay. I got a hoodie. Mm -hmm. A hobo hoodie. Hobo hoodie. Nice, nice, nice. Where's my beanie? I got a beanie. Beanie. Nice. So you're going as a homeless guy. I'm a homeless guy. Did you know that they threw uh, homeless people off the New Vegas Strip? We'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, here's my disguise. So I got this hat. I got socks. I got a Hawaiian shirt. I got a Boston shirt because we're in Vegas. Pants, belt, and a wig. Oh my god. <laughs> and then of course my goatee, so... Yeah. Hey, hey, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> He's got toothpaste all over you. Okay, I gotta get the toothpaste out of my mouth. Oh. It's so nasty right now. Uh, uh. We're gonna have to stop and go get some gum. Oh, I have gum in my car, so we're good. With their disguises on, we set out to find our brother. We started on the outskirts of town, a likely place to dump a body. We out here, uh, looking for Noah. Yep, he's not over here, but we're gonna keep walking to Target. Yeah, we're, we're going to Target. Because Josh needs some stuff. He needs some alcohol. Yeah, that too. That'd be nice. Yeah. So, uh, where are we going after this? Uh, we're going to go to that International Gaming Institute thing or whatever back there. The one that's literally right there. That one. Yeah. So we're going to go to that thing and look for Noah there. Because yeah. obviously Noah loves to play video games. Yes, very true. So very much. <laughs> Unfortunately, we could not find Noah's corpse or Courtney anywhere at the International Gaming Institute. It probably has something to do with it being closed for winter break, but we looked past that. Adam and I ventured into the city being as discreet as possible. We thought to ourselves Courtney would spend all of Noah's money at the local casinos before killing him. Maybe it was part of her plan to make Noah look like he had lost so much money and he was just trying to commit suicide. Clever girl. Yeah. Two weeks since we got to Las Vegas looking for Noah. We're exhausted. Been sleeping on the roads. Like hobos. We're on a tram. We're on a tram right now taking from Treasure Island to the Mirage. The Mirage. We then got an urgent text from Noah. 
We didn't think of calling Courtney or Noah because that just would have made things too easy. Courtney would have been expecting it, but Noah sent out a text with only one word, fountains. And that's when it hit us, the Bellagio fountains. We knew Courtney would make it look like an accident, possibly get Noah drunk and then push him out of the window and into the fountain. And for everyone around the area, they would just see Noah as a drunk idiot who just recently lost all of his money in gambling and decided to commit suicide by jumping out of the Bellagio Hotel. It was the perfect crime. But Adam and I already had the upper hand. We knew where the murder was going to happen, and she didn't know about our awesome disguises. So we prepared ourselves, physically and mentally, knowing that we had to do anything to stop Courtney from murdering Noah. So Adam and I got into positions at the fountain, posing as tourists, being on the lookout for Noah. After a few hours of waiting, we found them. What turned out to be a crime just waiting to happen turned into something worse. Love. No and Courtney got engaged on December 7th, 2019. We are all incredibly thrilled to have Courtney join the Simonji fam and also excited to see what happens next for these two. As for Adam and I, once we saw that Courtney wasn't trying to kill Noah in cold blood, we decided to leave them be and celebrate with some delicious pizza. So Adam got us kicked out of the pizza place. I'm sorry that you can't sit at a bar and just eat pizza, even though you're underage. Not ordering drinks or anything, just eating pizza, that's all I wanted. But, guess you can't sit at a bar, it's illegal to sit at a bar if you're not 21. So, we're at a better pizza place that has no line, they make it right in front of you, sells Dr. Pepper, and you can sip whatever the f*** you want. <laughs> Sponsored by Dr. Pepper. No, we're not. <laughs> Thus, we began our journey home, full of memories, happy moments, and a bad pizza. Us Simonjis are again very happy to see Noah and Courtney come together, but we both had something in the back of our minds. What if, maybe, just maybe, this is some part of Courtney's plan to get rid of Noah? What if Courtney still has some ill will against Noah and does still want to kill him? Ah. It's probably unlikely. So we pushed those thoughts to the back of our heads, and soon those thoughts disappeared. One could say those thoughts disappeared like a ghost in the wind. Mike, Mike, my turn. <laughs> what was your favorite scene in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> my turn, my, my, my turn. <laughs> I don't think I could say oh, like, what the favorite scene was, but okay. I definitely didn't like like the cheesiness of the well, dialogue, the like, oh, I hate you, like, you know, we're fighting, and then, like, yeah. oh, like, 